love. What is going on everybody? I am back with a new video. And today, today after work, I decided to drop off or stop off at my local Target. I went to go find a shovel because my car is snowed in like everybody else in Chicago or in the Midwest or for mid middle America. <laughs> um, but they were sold out of shovels. So I decided to go to the toy aisle as I always do, you know, because after Christmas, Target, Walmart, all your local, what, like, department stores have been pretty dry as far as toys lately. They've been deserts. So, I found something pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I found a W, W, E, Legend, Elite Collection. I found none other than... Latino Heat himself, Eddie Guerrero. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him. If he isn't in your top five wrestlers of all time, you must be crazy. You must be crazy. Especially if you grew up in this era. This guy had it all. Charisma, the body, the athleticism, the technicality. I'm getting tripped up over here because I can't even, I can't even believe that this was on the shelf and I found them. There was only two on the shelf. The store has already been picked over, but I found them. Pretty amazing. I love this box. I love the legend style box. Let's see, you get the, uh, you get the old man warrior. You get the Eddie Guerrero. You got to get the Jake the Snake. You got to get the Paul Orndorff. Pretty solid lineup, if you say, if I say so myself, because I am saying it. But uh, wow, wow. Damn son, where'd you find this? All right, y'all. I'll do my best to contain my excitement because. I got to actually pronunciate words, you know, I got to actually pronunciate words so you can understand what I'm saying. I could barely pronunciate anyways. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, this box is amazing. I, I like the gold boxes. Uh, I like the gold touches anyways. Like, I think that's the point, right? It reminds you of the WWE gold. As you can see, I already pre-cut the box. Solid lineup, as I said before, but let's open them up. I want to take a look at this tray shot. I don't want to wait anymore. Look at that tray shot. Oof, he looks nice. Look at that, look at that smirk, too. Ah, that's awesome. Comes with, uh... Soft goods for his t-shirt, alternate hands. Look at the flames on the jacket. I might I might buy that chalk line jacket just because of this figure. Just because of this figure. Let's let's pop him out. See if you could do a clean pull. Wasn't quite clean a pull, but you know what? Nothing clean about this guy. Dirty, as I said before, he's cut from the same cloth as Ric Flair. I probably didn't say that before, but I'm saying it now. Dirtiest player in the game. One of the dirtiest players in the game. And that's why we love him. That's why we love him. So innovative. This was my era of Eddie Guerrero. Um... I was a bit too young to really appreciate his excellence and his genius when he was in WCW, when he had the mullet, when he was a little more athletic. 
but I was able to appreciate his psychology when he came to the WWE. And he started having that long run, that really good run. You know, because I've cried a thousand times, I'm going to cry some more. All right. So as I said, you got the to soft goods t-shirt. Uh, let's try to open it up, see what the base looks like. And I love when they provide the soft goods because the plastic molded t-shirts and like entrance gear, they're so difficult to take off of the figure. But this was no problem at all if I could get my camera to focus. And he looks good. He looks on point. He was a, he was pretty ripped near the end of his career. He was pretty ripped. I mean, he was... He was never in bad shape. I think he was a, a, a bit leaner when he was in WCW. Uh, he wasn't as ripped. Like, he wasn't like a heavyweight um, style in, until he was like in WWE. Then he got like, he, he put on a lot of mass because like Vince loves those body guys. Um, but that's a whole nother topic. I don't even want to get into how much I dislike Vince right now. You know what I mean? I think a lot of wrestlers can get, can attest to that. But let's let's go into let's go into the alternate hands and see. Oof, those are these are not clean pulls at all. I think I think the best method of pulling those out is just pushing. So they look like they're open hands, like grappling hands. And Eddie comes with fists. And those are the type of hands that, although I think the grappling hands were best suited for him, I I appreciate the fists more than the grappling hands just because I don't trust myself as far as like maybe I'll break those hands. I don't know. But... The sculpting looks fantastic. The eyes look, I mean, they're a bit, they look a little bit off on the camera, but in real life, they don't look bad at all. Um, I like how they got the broken nose on him. That's pretty good. The face looks pretty good as well. Like it's a, it's pretty good likeness. And I love the highlights in the hair. That is pretty pretty that's a good indicator of where he was at in his career um he did have the highlights near toward the end of the career love the blue flame that's iconic also a good homage to where he came from he had that luchador style the, the legendary guerrero family and then his slogan i'm your poppy i'm not sure if this was the era when China was his uh, was his manager, but I did love that run. I loved when those two were together because they just made magic on that screen, on that TV screen. That was amazing. Um, rest in peace, China. Rest in peace, Eddie Guerrero. Five hours later. All right, so let's get into a bit of the measurements, right? Or not the measurements, but like the the specs like the specifics of this figure right so eddie guerrero was not that tall right yeah, i think he was about five foot nine this is drew mcintyre he is a legit six foot five so if you put them two together i think that's about right i think that's like wow drew mcintyre is hella tall but five foot nine Compared to six foot five, or actually, maybe Eddie Guerrero is like a five foot eleven, five foot ten. But in without his shoes, maybe a five foot nine. I don't know, but that looks on point. Put him next to a Macho Man, and that looks on point as well. Macho Man was not that tall either. Uh, but you do get like you do get the great articulation on these figures like WWE figures are great because they always have the great articulation for the elites 
The ultimates bring it to another level. Same type of articulation, but this is not an ultimate. This is a legend elite collection figure. So you get the double jointed knees. Same thing on both sides. You get the, yep, you get the boot swivel. You get the thigh swivel, ball joints here. I think you get the hip swivel. Of course you get an ab crunch. That would be ridiculous if you don't have an ab crunch for your elite figure. And that also makes the soft goods that more important because if you have an ab crunch, you can do that and you don't have a molded, uh, you know, you don't have a molded hindrance to block that. That looks great. I don't care how like shiny or like how off it looks on the figure. Soft goods always over the molded entrance gear always over i i will attest to that a thousand percent they're always better and here's why look it's molded like a molded piece right it's not you know you could take this off if you want to but look at the hindrance on the articulation oh whoa okay never mind but you can't you can't go past 90 right let's see if you could take this off go down there Oh, okay. Okay, now I look like the jackass, right? But if you had it on the ab crunch, you wouldn't be able to do that, okay? But uh, yeah, I'm a jackass anyway, without even showing that. But you get the swivel on the wrist and you could go up and down. You could go 90, of course. I think they made it thinner, which is better than the longer elbow pads um swivel at the bicep ball joint at the uh at the shoulder i wish they would have had the butterfly joints i don't know if mattel has those or or what like i mean i they're a big company i am sure they're able to create butterfly uh joints for their figures i mean But yeah, amazing figure. Uh, go check your local targets. Um, yeah, like I, I can't believe I saw this on the shelf. I thought this is for sure is going to be very difficult to find. It's Eddie freaking Guerrero, for goodness sakes. Um, was not feeling the figure that came out maybe a few years ago with his mullet on. Um, it did not look like they gave enough attention to his face and this figure like the likeness is really good on here really good like you they got the smirk they got the the highlights in the hair they got the uh the ears correctly uh yeah a wonderful figure for a wonderful wrestler like top five in my book um if not top three anyways um yeah pretty amazing that i found this pretty pretty excited this is like the one of the few times that i find a figure and i immediately review it because that's how i'm how excited i am to review it because eddie guerrero man eddie freaking guerrero anyways this gets i'm gonna put him down this gets two thumbs up I love the articulation, the soft goods, the accuracy of the face, like the, the sculpting. Um, I like the, the paint applications and the color of the figure. The recent, the, the figures before, they had him a bit lighter on his skin tone, which I guess he was not tanning at the time, but it, it made the figure look unfinished, you know, because there was no variance in the paint even then the face like they didn't fully paint the uh the goatee and everything but i love this figure i love all the paint applications on this figure they did a really amazing job with this figure and i'm i'm happy that it's now in my collection where it's supposed to be love it anyways thanks for watching if you made it to the end of the video you are a very nice person 
I will have more figures to review in the very soon future. Thanks for watching again. Take care.